The grifter duo seems to be on an endless quest for attention as they recently made an appearance as humanitarians at a Netflix event. Megan's unusual demeanor was notable, but it was Harry's presence that drew the ire of many as he dredged up unpleasant memories of past violent incidents. Let's delve into the details of this situation and welcome you to Royal News 365 channel. More than ever, Harry and Meghan appear to be scrambling to salvage their reputations. While their financial situation might be part of the motivation, they are also striving to lay the groundwork for a possible return to the UK, coinciding with the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. However, these efforts have been met with widespread criticism and have largely backfired. Meghan's frequent participation in charity events or conferences aimed at protecting vulnerable communities has yielded little success, as has Harry's involvement. After a string of lawsuits and controversies, the couple is attempting to project an image of community-minded individuals, but these efforts seem to fall flat. A major contributing factor to their failure is the couple's tarnished reputation. Their recent artistic event in Africa faced backlash for its perceived lack of meaningful purpose. Additionally, allegations of violent acts committed by rangers at Africa Park have resurfaced, yet Harry has remained silent on the matter. Unfazed by previous missteps, they attended a Netflix polo event, once again sparking public outrage. Many recall the incidents involving the alleged mistreatment of polo horses by Harry, which further tarnished his image. Reports of the pregnant Mare Drizzle suffering a heart attack shortly after a match have fueled further animosity toward Harry. If true, this incident only adds to his negative reputation. Harry's mistreatment of horses and reliance on spurs have led some to question his suitability to be around animals. Once the most popular senior member of the royal family, Harry's transformation since Meghan's arrival is evident. Meghan's influence seems to have led him to believe she was a divine gift from his late mother, Diana. The drastic changes in Harry's behavior from wearing his mother's perfumes to his actions at the Miami polo event have disappointed many and drawn attention to the couple's true colors. Harry's participation in the Miami polo event for Netflix further cements his controversial status. His attempts to charm the public with declarations of love for polo and his interactions with the horses stand in stark contrast to the concerns raised about his treatment of the animals. If Harry continues to be the face of polo, it may jeopardize the sport's reputation and turn potential sponsors away. Letting an alleged animal abuser represent the sport could be detrimental to polo's future. Even if I could forgive Harry for just about everything he has done, being an over-the-top animal lover myself, I will never forgive him for killing that mare and her foal. I have seen some rough pictures of the horses sustaining injuries. Then people for the ethical treatment of animals has shown up at many polo matches. The neck and ears are white, the face is brown. I have gone to more than a few polo matches, but to be honest, I think the sport does not appeal that much. One reassuring thing I can tell people about polo, especially after you see how much Harry abuses horses, is that they switch out the ponies during the matches so they do not exhaust them. No horse competes for an entire match. You need at least two ponies for each player. There have been many rumors before that Harry's been violent and a bully since he was a child. He once broke another child's arm in an attack and some parents stopped letting their children go to parties if he was going to be there. In school, he would pick out at least one fellow student to bully and get his mates to laugh at them with him. Just as he did with the disabled school custodian, he himself relates attacking people, including his bodyguards. Rather than curbing his aggression and bad behavior, she ignored it, excused it, maybe even delighted in it. That doesn't just mean caught red-handed it includes blaming someone else and even setting someone else up to be the fall guy, if need be. Note how he's attributed his realizations. 
of unhappiness to his wife when he told Angel Levin in his biography that he began thinking of separating from his family while in his mid-twenties, setting someone else up to be blamed for his actions comes so naturally to him, I don't think he even realized he was pointing the finger of blame at his wife if things went wrong. So what is the purpose of the Sussex couple at this polo event? I believe this polo show has the message. We are the American royal family. Look how elegant and European we are. Who is going to watch? We are royalty fans? There are no polo fans enough? The thing is how many pseudo royal events are there? Is it enough to make a show? And how boring will it be? Five minutes covers everything for us royal fans. We don't really need to watch the game, just the fanfare. Is Netflix going to highlight Harry's mistreatment of the horses, including the pregnant one he was advised to not ride but did it anyway, and who passed from a heart attack? Didn't think so. Meghan and Harry will make the polo matches all about them with their Netflix cameras. The polo players and their wives will get tired of it, just like a lot of the Invictus veterans are getting tired of them making those games all about them. They'll never learn and never understand why things don't go their way. Guarantee it. So it can be said that every appearance of the Sussex couple only brings controversy. Accompanying Harry is Meghan with a strange face, the new upper teeth, and the restructured nose. This reminds me of Meghan's real age. On her 67th birthday 2023, Doria accidentally slipped saying she had her child at age 21, 672146. Come August, Megan will be 47. Look at her face now, she is aging fast. It's not just a matter age, Megan is supposedly on Ozempic, which ages the facial skin very quickly. I'm also sure she is balding with all that processing, chemicals, twisting, braiding, pulling, and ironing for 30 years. We can call it by its fancy word, alopecia, but it is what it is. What these awful photos make clear is that the photos of her reading to children at the hospital can't possibly have happened recently. The hospital photos are years old, and not a few days ago, as they stated. Her face, hair, and body are not the same. That woman thinks we can't see the obvious. She was old as she had the mask on, thus a few years back. You will now start to see Megan's true age. Heavy bronzer, cheek implants, horse veneers, ski slope nose, and overstretched facelift. Getting worse every time. She always has to try hard to change her appearance when she appears. The neck and ears are white. The face is brown. Megan does not love herself but wants to become a useful version of her story. Lying and being a victim is how Megan makes money. Megan doesn't like to work, just plays with someone else paying the bills and picking up the tab. Even though there is a new fake brand, Megan doesn't seem to focus on it. She and Harry appear everywhere to promote themselves. I just can't get over how they both try to act like royals, but then they actually were working royals they didn't want to perform royal duties. So they come to the U.S. and play royals and imitate actual working royals. It is so bizarre. They want to earn money, they want to have status, and they want to tell people how to behave. The U.S. does not give them a platform. They have nothing to offer. It's meaningless given the couple's ridiculous appearances. Have you noticed that she's brought back the fake, devoted stares at Harry after years of them being missing? To me, this just confirms how bad their relationship is now. Harry has maybe made moves to leave her, so she needs to go back to the Being in Love Act for a while to keep him. If you look at pictures of William at some polo matches, Catherine is always playing with her kids or sitting in the grass with them. Catherine and William take their kids to lots of events. Very a huge difference between the two families. The Prince and Princess of Wales do not need to signal their love marriage or dedication for each other and their family through the media you can see it in their body language written on their face and their eyes there is no detachment even if we're going to talk happily with their kids even on an engagement you can see the joy and love that lights up from within for each other and their three beautiful treasured children. As for Meghan, she shows it everywhere. She wanted to prove how much Harry loved her. As well as she inserts herself in the middle of photographs to avoid being cropped out. 
I don't approve of her doing it. I think she is a desperate woman who needs to be loved or at least make it appear to the world she is. I was just pointing out why she probably puts herself in the middle of things. Perhaps their partner, Netflix, is also extremely helpless towards them, so they have to go to this final step. Netflix is desperate to get something for their money from these two, and the only thing they could come up with is Polo. Between the two of them, there are no hobbies or interests or talents. I think this is the last gasp from the Markles and Netflix. Megan appeared with a trophy presentation. It is so strange that she would hold hands with another little girl and walk with her and not her own children. The whole joke in the article about where Lilibet is kind of threw me. Like what about Archie? Where are these kids? I would be upset if I grew up and my parents did all these events and things and I as their child wasn't even invited. Isn't the reason for having a family to enjoy and experience time together? Creating memories, etc. I think she wants to always be the focus of attention and if the children were there, they would steal her spotlight. A strange way to be a mother. So, if you ask me what the appearance of the lying duo at this polo event means, my answer is that it was all just a last-ditch effort by the Sussex couple, and unfortunately it all fell apart. What they receive is only criticism and controversy. Simply because their hypocritical and fake actions have been exposed, wherever they go, that event will lose all meaning and be destroyed. That also brings us to the end of this video. And you, what do you think about this appearance of the Sussex couple? Please discuss this with us by commenting. And if you agree with my opinion, please comment, okay? If not, please express your so we can know your opinion. Don't forget to like and share the video. Your support is our motivation. Let's subscribe to receive notifications about the newest videos.